Hi and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at some of the biggest teams in Europe and I have to say some of these stadiums are rather impressive compared to what we've seen previously in Scotland and in the English Premier League too. Now the first one coming up here is Espanyol. Now I know not one of the biggest teams in Europe but I was in Barcelona taking off and I saw the stadium to the left so I thought oh may as well have a look so let's have a look at El Espanyol then. What I'll say about this one is it's actually pretty detailed. I mean, you can, you can see the name of of the team on the stadium, and there's also some little buildings next to it as well. I don't know if the developers come from Spain or something, but Spain's particularly detailed. It looks really nice from the sky, and all the stadiums actually look really quite as if they've put effort into them, when compared to, say, the English leagues and the Scottish leagues, which to be honest have no much effort at all. But let's have a look. As you can see there's a little building on the left there and it's quite detailed and then we zoom into Espanol as well we can see the detail in the stadium which looks a lot nicer than some of them that we've seen. Let's have a wee look. Let's get round. There we go with like that. See? Very nice. See no wee swim pool down there below its things or a big swimming pool. Ok now on to one of the big boys, it's Barcelona and the new camp. Now this stadium looks very impressive indeed. It is one of the most iconic stadiums in the world so it's nice they've put a little bit of detail and effort into it. But I've noticed even the surrounding road you can see the speed limit on the road, the giveaway signs, little crossings. It looks it looks well good. I really wish they'd done this with some of the others. Here we are, it's just coming up now. Check this out. It's so so detailed, it's really nice. The seats aren't even flat against the wall, it's like total seats the way they should be. Looks good, done it. We'll have a closer look, we'll just whip round. Let's go. Right round. And there we go. A wee closer look. Look at that. It looks great, doesn't it? I've just paused the game here so we can have a proper look. I'll just whiz the camera around so we can see it better from the sky. Okay, let's whiz it around. And as you can see it looks mighty impressive, doesn't it? Compared to other stadiums we've seen in all the videos so far. Look at that. Look at the detail on even on the roads. I think it's brilliant. I really like that one. I wish they'd do that with every single stadium in the game and that would make me very happy indeed. But yeah, I'll be visiting this one at night time. I wish I'd turned it at night in this video but forgot. But oh, I'll need to have a wee visit later. Let's get the screenshot for the video here. Look at that. Amazing. Okay, next up we're going to the Bernabeu, Real Madrid. And again, this is another one that looks pretty mighty impressive actually. Again, it's got loads of detail, although it is a bit flat against the wall with the seats, so slightly different from the new camp, but still, look at that, Real Madrid in the top and everything. I really like that one too. I just think Spain in general seems to have an awful lot of detail. Really, it just looks really nice from the sky, and the buildings look pretty impressive as well all around, whereas sometimes if you go to Scotland, like in Glasgow for instance, there's the exhibition centre, there's a crane and there's an armadillo and the concert all which are all together and all really impressive buildings but if you fly over them they're all just flat whereas here they seem to have a lot more detail and it looks really nice. This stadium's quite impressive, look at that. Let's have a look. Wow, I like that. That one looks nice too. Very nice. Okay. Next we're heading over to Germany and we're going to check out Bayern Munich's Line Serena I believe it's called. This is another one that looks pretty good, pretty detailed again. Nice from the sky. We'll just zoom in and have a look. Of course they're the Champions League finalists so you'll be watching them either, I don't know when you'll be watching this video but it should be live before the Champions League final. So good luck to them because I think they've got a chance. 
and let's have a look. You can even see the writing which says Alliance oh, Arena if you look closely enough. I'm I'm well impressed with that. Now I did decide to switch to night time for this one so we could have a wee look at night. So let's do that. Just fire away a wee bit more. And there we go. So we'll just whirls round. I've, it's the first time I've shown night time in the game actually. And it does look really impressive. I believe the Adina lights up different colours at night time, but this it doesn't hear it anyway. I don't know if it does that at some point, but it doesn't it's just white here, so but it still looks nice, very nice. Look at all the roads got up red and stuff. I love it. Really nice at night. Let's zoom in. Are they going to be champions of Europe by tonight? Possibly. Or maybe by the time you watch this video. There we go. Night time in Bayern. Very nice. Okay, so after this I decided to go and check out another German team in Borussia Dortmund. Their stadium looks generally quite nice if you see it in sort of real person. But here it's one of these flat ones. So it seems that detail has been took away from them. So let's just have a quick, quick look. As you can see, it's just kind of a bit flat to the ground, so that one's a little disappointing. It's a bit like a drain or something. Let's have one wee quick look more. There we go. Okay, next up, Juventus. This is called the Alliance, uh, oh, is it called the Alliance Stadium or something? I think it, it's very similar name to Bayern's. Again, this one's pretty flat. You can see the detail around the stadium, but the stadium itself actually looks pretty flat once you get up close to it. But I mean, you could tell how it, how nice it would be if they'd actually put more detail into it. There we go. Very nice, eh? Or it would be very nice if it was a bit more detail, but still you can see the sort of idea of what this stadium would look like in person and sort of surroundings and stuff. I absolutely love it, way, so I'll see it in person one day, I'm sure. I've not been to it like Juventus, but uh, maybe like uh, Milan places that I'd like to go. Oh, and speaking of Milan, next up is the San Siro, home of AC Milan and Inter Milan. I believe they're knocking it down actually and building a new stadium which has got a slightly smaller capacity, around 60,000 because their tendencies aren't as good as what they used to be. So, but at least it would be a nice and big modern stadium I would imagine. Although this one is actually looking quite nice and it's quite detailed here as well again. As you can see it's not flat to the ground, it's actually had some effort put into it. There we go, look at that. Very nice. Don't know why it's got a tree in the middle, but hey, what can you do? I'm sure they don't have a tree in the middle of the real thing, do they? Probably not. So, Italy again. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Some snowy mountains over there somewhere as well. I swear I saw them. Where are they? Let's just go around and find them. Ah, can't find them. Still, how do we get a stadium then? Look at that detail, very nice. I'm sure it could probably be more detailed, like taking the trees away in the middle and stuff, but it's still a nice stadium. I like the look of it. Makes you wonder what their new one will look like, doesn't it? A toy. Let's have a wee cut look at Italy before we go. Just because I love it so much. There we go, very nice. Okay, next up we're going to visit the other Champions League finalists, Paris Saint-Germain. Who's going to win? Bayern or oh, Paris Saint-Germain? If you watch this video before the Champions League final, then comment below and let me know who you think will win. I'm going for Bayern, personally. So, score? 3-1 mm, Bayern, I'm going for. Remember I said that. This is another stadium which is pretty flat, to be honest. It's... it's the details there, but I'm not sure why there's a house in the middle of that other one. But again, it's quite flat to the ground, which is a shame, really, considering what a big team they are these days. They've spent enough money, haven't they? You'd think they could spend it in convincing Microsoft to make their stadium look good. 
Okay, before we go, we've got to go have a look at the Eiffel Tower, haven't we? Where is it? Let's just find the river and we'll go over to it before we leave it behind. There it is. Let's go. I've never been to Paris, actually. Never saw it up close. I suppose that's one of the good things about this game, is if you've not been somewhere, you can just fly along and check it out. And there we go, the Eiffel Tower. Up close. What do you think? Just looks like a black pill tower to me, to be honest. <laughs> if you've seen black pill tower, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's just like a bigger version, and it's not on top of a building either, I guess. At least I think black pill tower is on top of a building. I don't know. Maybe I'm lying. I've not been there for a while. <laughs> Okay, and lastly, since it's the Champions League final that we've been talking about quite a lot, I thought we'd check out the Estadio de Luis. This stadium is home to Benfica, but also to this year's Champions League final. I believe it was due to be in Turkey, but they decided to cancel it and put it here instead because of the uh, pandemic. But let's have a look. Again, it's a bit flat, so that's a shame. It would have been nice to see it in all its glory before the Champions League final. Oh well, never mind. Portugal looks nice though, doesn't it? So we can't complain too much, can we? Are we going to have another look? Let's have another look, shall we? There we go. Very nice. Okay, thanks for joining us this video. I hope you liked some of the stadiums because some were very impressive indeed. We'll see you next time. Please like, subscribe if you want to see more. Then let me know what ones you want to see too. Thanks a lot for joining us. See you next time. Bye.